Hi everyone and welcome back to the industrial automation channel. Today, like the previous video, we are going to have a look at HMI. We've already learned the basics of HMI using WinCC and TIA portal, but we can also use codices to develop HMI and visualization projects. So in this video, we will learn how to create a visualization and a simple HMI project using a switch and button in codices. As you know, HMI stands for Human Machine Interface and is a user interface used by an operator to interact with a machine, system, or device. HMI simplifies complex processes, enabling real-time control and monitoring of operations, consisting of graphical displays, touch screens, buttons, switches, and other tools to control machinery and systems. It can be also connected to a PLC logic and displayed on the screen for troubleshooting purposes. In this video, I will start HMI using codices with a simple project and show you how to create a visualization project using button and switch elements to change the state of input and output. Let's create a basic PLC project in codices to switch an output on and off. So I've got codices here and what I want to do is just create a new standard project. I'll give a name HMI. Select the device and programming language. I'm going to use simulation and for now let's create a project using ladder logic. Double click PLC program. Here I'm going to create the basic program. All this program is going to be is just having a contact and a coil. Open ladder elements and insert a contact into the programming area. Grab the coil and just drop it here. Declare a variable for contact and coil. I'm going to call this contact start. Press enter. Auto declare windows will be opened. Data type boolean. And coil that I will call it lamp. Now our PLC program is ready and we need to create the HMI site. Right click the application, go to add object and then select down here visualization. This windows pop up as it's written here gives you an option to add this codice library to the project. It consists of some graphical objects that we can use them to configure our visualization project. I'm going to activate this option, click add. And now our PLC project is going to add the HMI to this as well. Now visualization is added to our project. If you look at the right hand side, you see the visualization toolbox. These are the tools that we can use to create our HMI project. You see here a little tab called symbols. When we wanted to create our HMI, Codices asked us about a symbol library to add to the project. If you click that, these are the symbols of this library that will be added here and we can use them inside our project. To create, for example, little buttons and other little icons. If you go to the basic, you see the basic elements like rectangle, line, circle, etc. You can also add images to your project. If you go to the common controls, you see other elements like button, table, and scroll bar. Inside the lamp switches bitmaps, you will see lamp and different kinds of switches. Since we have a start and a code in our PLC program, I'm going to use a switch with a lamp inside our visualization. I want to control the lamp with the start switch. Here is our lamp, drag and drop it into the project. If you click on the lamp, you will notice at the right hand side, you've got properties toolbar. Here we can change some properties of our lamp. Assign an individual name for the lamp element so that the element is found faster in the element list. We can change the position and size of the map. The X and Y coordinates in a pixel are the position of the upper left corner of the element. I'm going to change these numbers. I 
As you see, now the position and size of the lamp is changed. We can also change the values by dragging the box symbols to other position in the editor. Now we need to let the HMI know what information from the PSC side it's using. So we need to make a connection between the elements and variables that we have created. In the properties toolbars and variables, if I click here, I get access to the variables. So open application and PLC program. There you find the variable lamp. Select it. What I have done is I've assigned this variable to the lamp. So when the value of the variable is uh, changed, the color of the lamp will also change. Tooltip to display some text and movement to move the elements I will explain in another video. If we assign here a variable, we can control with uh, this variable the visibility of the lamp. It means we can hide the lamp in the HMI. For that, I'm going to declare another Boolean variable. Assign it to the invisible property. And with the background, we can change the base color of the lamp. Let me select, for example, red. Go back to the visualization toolbar and now select the switch for start contact. How these switches work is similar. So I'm going to add deep power and rotary switch to show you. All the properties are liked for the lamp. We have just here an extra property to deactivate the switch. When the variable assigned here has a true value, then the switch will be deactivated. Declare another variable. Select this variable here. And start for the main variable of these elements. And also we can set here the behavior of the switch when it's pressed in HMI. With the image toggler, if we press the switch, the variable value will be changed. And if we release the switch, the value will not change back to the previous state. If we want to change back, we need to press it once again. But with an image tapper, as long as the switch is pressed, the value will change. And when we release the switch, the value will return to the default value. Let me copy this and change for the second one to image tapper. For the rotary switch, we have also here orientation type, top or side, and the color change or not. I'm going to copy this switch to see the difference better. For the second one, orientation at side and with color change. Online and check the simulation. Again, online and login. This is now asking you, do you want to download the project? As it's written here, we need to start the PLC. 
We can pop each of these tabs out and drag it to the side so we can see both the PSC program and visualization at the same time. As you see, when I click on the dip switch just once, the value of the start is changed and it remains true. So the value of the coil is changed and the lamp is turned on. If I want to change it back to false, I need to press the switch once again. But when I press the switch with image tapper, the values change, but immediately after releasing the switch, the value is again false. As long as the switch is pressed, the value is true. And that's the difference between an image toggler and a tapper. As you see, other switches behave similarly. Or if I change the value of uh, start from the PLC program, you see the change in the visualization. Let me change the value of lamp invisibility. Now the lamp is invisible. If I write the value of true to the variable switch deact, As you see, now the switch is not working and it's deactivated. I'm pressing the switch, but nothing changes. Next point, we can also add a button to change the state of the start. Go to the common controls. You will see there is an element called button. Drag it to the project. In the properties toolbar, like switch and lamps, we can change here the position and size. With color, we can change the color of the button in a normal state when it's not pressed. We can even change the transparency of the color. Alarm color is the color of the button when the alarm state is activated. Next option, if we activate here, the color will be gradient. The pattern we can change with the gradient setting. If I open text here in front of the text, we can write what we want to show on the button itself. So if I type here start, you will see start here as well. We can also click inside of here and change the name here too. Using text properties, we can change some properties like font, size and color of the text. Here we can change where the text should be center of the button, left or right side, or vertical position of text, uh, top, center or bottom. Text format is used when the text inside the button is long. With default, the text which is uh, too long is truncated. Line break, the text is split into lines. Ellipses, the visible text ends with uh, three dots indicating that it's not complete. With font, style of the uh, font can be changed. and then font color. Using three dots here, we have access to all sorts of colors. We can even change the transparency of the font color. Color variable can change the color of the button to normal or alarm color. Declare another variable for color.
invisible and deactivate properties are exactly like what we have for switches. Open input configuration, you see here different types of variations. Toggle will change the variable state between true and false. So when we click the button once, it will change the state to on. And with another, the previous state will be changed to false, like image toggle in switches. And with the tap, the value will be true as long as the button is pressed. If I activate the tap false, when I press the button, the value will be changed to false instead of true. I'm going to define the first button with toggle and the second one with tap. Select also the variable for the color toggling. Simulate the project. I press the first button, start has the value of true. When I release it, the value remains true. With another press, the value is again false. But the second one changed the value to true just when I press the button and hold it. Change the value of the variable for alarm color. Write the values. As you see, the color of the button is changed to the alarm state. Okay, next, what I want to show you, just line these things up. So keep it a little bit neat. Click on these uh, elements and then right click. Go alignment. And then here align horizontal center. You see these elements line up from here. Or you can align vertically. All right, that was our first video about visualization using codices with elements, switch, lamps, and button. In the next video, we will have more about HMI, how to use other elements and objects in our project and advanced topics. See you next video, friends. Bye.